In this quick brief, I'll give you an overview of how you can leverage FSOS Machine Learning and Analytics Engine to discover high-risk documents utilizing FSOF Transact Web Services and Microsoft Flow. FSOF builds technologies to help organizations understand, process, and analyze their unstructured content that lies within documents. We have two products. FSOF Transact focuses on real-time transactional processing and can classify and extract data from documents that originate from any source. FSOF Insight can consume large existing document sets, classifying and correlating important data and allowing organizations to visualize previously hidden information. With most organizations utilizing several repositories for document storage, complying with privacy regulations can be daunting at best, and documents are the enterprise minefield. In this demo, I have an existing SharePoint library with some high-risk and low-risk PDF image documents. Note, I can use the same solution to crawl just about any repository like Box, Dropbox, Network Folders, OneDrive, etc. I will use Microsoft Flow to iterate through the files, passing the content to FSOF Transact Web Services in the cloud. Note, we can also be deployed on-premise for those organizations that have that preference. Using a document intelligence model built in FSOF, I can scan content not only for patterns, but can also use machine learned document samples to enhance accuracy. It will then set a SharePoint column value to show the risk level and update a spreadsheet in OneDrive. So how does this differ from existing solutions? Most solutions out there for GDPR or privacy compliance focus purely on text pattern matching. You can do that with FSOFT as well, but we take it a step further and use our patented machine learning and analytics technology to add a whole separate layer that looks at documents from a holistic perspective and creates a custom solution based on an organization's documents and work patterns. So now let's go ahead and dive into the demo. So what I've done to prep for the demo is I've actually uploaded uh, uh, about six samples um, of PDF images. Uh, images obviously are the most complex to classify and extract data. And within this set, there's actually a couple of high-risk documents that have private information. So I've built a flow and within this flow, we're gonna go ahead on a schedule go through that library and once again as noted in my presentation i can add dropbox or anything that flow supports to ingest documents from all different sources we'll get the properties we'll go ahead and get the content pass it to fsoft web services and this web service will return a high risk or low risk classification and as mentioned that classification can be based on pattern values but it can also be based on a machine learned document model within organizations specific documents that they've deemed high risk. We'll go ahead and process, and then we'll go through some conditions where if we find high risk information, we'll update the SharePoint library and insert a row within an Excel spreadsheet in Microsoft OneDrive. Now this could also be a database update. So if you wanted to go ahead and log all these high risk documents within a DB, you can do that as well. So let's go ahead and uh, let's close this. And we'll go ahead and, and run this flow now. I've got it scheduled for every 24 hours, so uh, we'll go ahead and, and kick it and let it process. You can see here it's going through and actually uh, running through its, its loop on each of those documents. So you can see it's starting to complete its task. So let's go ahead back to our SharePoint library here. Let's go ahead and refresh. And you can see it's tagged several of those documents with a high risk column value. Okay, so if we go ahead and open one of these you'll see that it found a, a German national ID and it, uh, it found that based on the patterns that were on the page 
and a classification uh, model that actually knows what, what these different IDs look like. So that's the first part. We updated, we identified these, and then uh, we'll go ahead and open the spreadsheet here in OneDrive. And if you take a look here, we've created a, a, a row for each of the high-risk documents with a link to the document, okay? So this is great in, in that uh, we can go ahead and harvest from multiple locations, do our discovery. We can have, uh, you know, a high-risk value. With FSOF, we can also um, uh, classify and provide additional information as well. So if you wanted to know the type of document it was classified as, we can add additional value and then we have a link. So now a compliance team can actually go through and do a review or a consultancy can uh, can find all those high risk documents, analyze them and then uh, purge them if necessary. So this is just a, a real quick slice of what uh, FSOF can do. If you have any questions, go to www.fsoft.com and shoot us a note and we can give you a live demo. Thanks.